Psst. Queenie. How did you find me? Wasn't hard. You're a cliche, Delphine. A dog returns to its vomit. I see you finally got that makeover. Guess she figured you can make over a little history, too. On the contrary, I'm here to set the record straight. <laughs> this historical site was nothing but a house of lies before I came back. This very house, the center of New Orleans high society, was also a place of abject horror. Madame Delphine LaLaurie earned her place in history alongside such monsters as Jack the Ripper, Ed Gein, and Jeffrey Dahmer. She even looks like a monster. The inhuman LaLaurie is said to have murdered as many as 150 slaves right here. Many times while there were extravagant parties going on just below, the sounds of music and revelry drowning out the cries of torment. Oh, shit. You don't believe it? Nobody's gonna waste that time with some uppity Negro and miss a fabulous party and beggars all belief. Thank you for coming. Excuse me. Yes? I seem to have mislaid my pocketbook. I think I set it down upstairs. I don't see anything. Are you certain? By the way, it wasn't any 150 slaves that died up here. I can tell you that. I'm sorry. It was 62. I kept a ledger. I, I don't understand. The information you've been feeding these people, it's inaccurate. Yeah, I want my money back. Do not touch the display items. Ma'am, I'm gonna have to ask you to leave now. My own house? You have to let this woman go. What you gonna do? Offer you a second chance. You don't mean it. You'll never be able to pay for your crimes. But I'm willing to walk you into the local office of the Urban League. You can offer your services as a volunteer. You can help the descendants of the people you brutalized. Are <laughs> you out of your simple mind? It's your only chance for redemption. Redemption? I know how redemption works in this century. I've seen it all on the magic box. Jean was asked, have you ever used the N-word yourself? Yes, of course, she stated, but it's been a very long time. Agree to be publicly humiliated, all is forgiven. Last Friday night, I tweeted a photograph of myself that I intended as part of a joke to a woman in Seattle. People have gotten soft, weak, lily-livered. All anybody has to do nowadays is shed some tears, say some words. It's called repentance. Oh, repentance, my ass. You think a man, Jack, among them was well and truly sorry? Not a one. Sorry they got caught is all. They are nothing but a pack of sniveling hypocrites as far as I can see. Not me. I won't profess to be sorry, because I'm not. I don't believe that. I was getting to you before. I know it. You made me weep. But not as you would have it for my supposed sins. I wept for the state of this world. A world of lies. A world that makes promises it cannot keep. To tell a colored man that he can be equal to a white man, there's a real cruelty. I'm not going anywhere. Actually, you are. Ow! Straight to hell. Oh, it's impossible. Oh, mortal. Wrong. I don't want to die. Oh, shit. Who does? Oh. 